Before we begin our second match for the 2A championship, we'd like to honor our third and fourth place runners up. In third place, we have Gurdon. And in fourth place, Hazen. Now we're ready to introduce the teams for our 2A conference championship match between Conway Christian and Cedar Ridge. First from Conway Christian, we have Mallory Bryant, a junior. Their captain is Will Henley, a senior. Wesley Oliver, a sophomore. And Austin Ellis, a junior. Their alternate is Shelby Shelton, a junior. Their coach is Laura Shelton. Give them a big round of applause. <laughs> and now to Cedar Ridge. First we have Karen Hartsfield, a senior. Their captain is Jeffrey Stewart, a junior. Bryce Cash, a junior. Wesley Gwaltney, a sophomore. Their alternates are Ryan Paul, a senior. Brian Comby, a sophomore. Shelby Stewart, a freshman. Jacoby Hardy, a junior. Hunter Chinwood, a senior. Haley Comby, a freshman. Reagan Walters, a junior. Jade Sneed, a freshman. Their coach is Carol Woods. And their assistant coach is Jeannie Wagner. Let's hear it for Cedar Ridge. <laughs> I'd like to wish both teams the best of luck, and now I'm going to turn it over to our quiz master, Steve Patterson. Steve, take it away. Thank you, Evangeline. We've already had a very exciting uh, 1A state championship here at AETN, and now we're ready for an equally exciting uh, 2A state championship. Teams, we're glad that you're here. You've worked hard to get here, and good <coughs> luck today. If you're ready, let's begin with our first toss-up question. Here we go. In 1916, Elephant Butte Dam was built on this river to provide water and irrigation for Texas and New Mexico. All right, Conway Christian, uh, Wesley. The Rio Grande. You're right. Question number two. Whose orchestra included such musicians as Freddie Green, Walter Page, Joe Jones and Lester Young. Will. The Grand Siberian Orchestra. No. Cedar Ridge. Rice. The London Orchestra. No, uh, this was this group was before my time as well. It's Count Basie. Count Basie. All right, question number three. He never stood trial for killing the two men that he blamed for his brother Morgan's death. Name this leader of the shootout at the OK Corral. All right, Conway, Wesley. Wyatt Earp. Right. Question number four. Before World War II, what was World War I known? Uh, Bryce. The war to end all wars. Bryce, you're right. I could have also accepted the Great War. <clears throat> Question number five. What epidemic around the end of World War II all right, uh, Conway Christian, Wesley. The influenza epidemic. That's absolutely right. In 1918. We're going to have math computation for our next question, and so we'll put 20 seconds on the clock for you to answer this math. Texas has an area of 267 square miles. The state of Washington has an area of 68,000 square miles. To the nearest integer, how many Washington states make up the area of one Texas? All right, Cedar Ridge, Wesley. Four. Right. All right. You got that fast. Could already get the timer going. Question number seven. According to tradition, what was the Borgia's favorite weapon? Uh, Conway Christian, Wesley. Poison. Absolutely right. I'm a little disturbed about the things you know, Wesley. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question number eight. In geometry, given the formula area equals height times base, of what type of figure would you be? All right, Cedar Ridge, Jeffrey. Who, a rectangle. No. Uh, Conway, Mallory. A triangle. No, I needed parallelogram or rhombus. 
All right, question number nine. A group of pilgrims agreed to tell two stories each as they walked. All right, Cedar Ridge Jeffrey. The Canterbury Tales. Absolutely. Question number 10. In the following sentence, identify both the adverb and what it modifies. The man shouted angrily. All right, Wesley. Angrily, and it identifies shouted. Yes. Question number 11. What was the Latin name for the goddess from classical and medieval mythology who held a great wheel and determined the fates of all people? No answers? All right, uh, Jeffrey? Minerva. No. Conway Christian? The answer is Fortuna. Fortuna. Question number 12. When offered the nomination for what position in 1848, Daniel Webster replied, I do not propose to be buried until I am really dead. John Adams had earlier called it the most, uh, Jeffrey. Vice President. That's absolutely right. He called it the most insignificant office that man could contrive. Question number 13. Which planet's surface has unusual formations, especially a mile-long uh, rock shaped like a human's face? All right, Cedar Ridge, Jeff. Mars. Yes. Question number 14. What term in geometry is defined as the angle above horizontal that an observer must look at to see an object that is above the observer? Jeffrey. Horizon? No. All right, Wesley. Obtuse? No, it's called the angle of elevation. Angle of elevation. Question number 15. It equals the work needed to move a proton across a potential difference of one joule per coulomb. Name this SI unit. All right, Will. Watt. No. Jeffrey? Inductance. No, it's the electron volt. The electron volt. Math computation for number 16. Suppose you win $60,000 in the lottery. You keep one third and generously divide the rest equally among your five brothers and your three favorite teachers. Each of their shares amounts to how much? All right, Wesley? $5,000. You're absolutely right. And I didn't get to set the timer that time. Question number 17. From 1899 to 1930, he made five unsuccessful attempts to win the America's Cup. In 1871, he opened his first grocery store in Scotland. In 1890, he entered the tea business, establishing a brand that to this day, Wesley. Lipton. You're absolutely right, Sir Thomas Lipton. Question 18. The original ones in Paris occupy the site of demolished fortifications. What is this long word for a broad avenue in a city? Wesley. A boulevard. Absolutely right. Question number 19 is math computation. I'm putting 20 seconds on the timer for this question. Find the sum of the infinite geometric series 81, 54, 36, 24, and so forth. Answers, please. Nothing? It is 243. All right, question number 20. Name the serpentine name of General Winfield Scott's strategy. Wesley. The Anaconda Plan. Wesley, you're absolutely right, and that ends round one. All right, a very exciting game so far. I'll see if we have any challenges. No challenges, so our score at the end of round one, very close. Conway Christian, 80, Cedar Ridge, 60. All right, I don't believe, are we going to make some, we are going to make a substitution on a couple of our teams, so here we go.
Welcome back to our 2A state championship, pitting Conway Christian against Cedar Ridge in a very exciting game. Just 20 points separating our two teams. We are going into the second round of play, which is our toss-up plus a chance at a bonus for the team that gets the toss-up. So, Jeffrey, I'll be looking to you for answers, and Will, you for answers. So, good luck to both teams. Here we go with the first toss-up. Oh, and by the way, we've added a couple of people. Shelby's in for Cedar Ridge. Good to have you, Shelby. And over here, Shelby for Conway Christian. <laughs> I don't know how you're doing it, Shelby, but you're managing to be on both teams. Good job. All right, here's our first toss-up. Question number 21. Voltaire called him an English Rabelais for his outlandish satires. Who was this 18th century Anglo-Irish writer and Dean of St. Patrick's Cathedral in Dublin? All right, Conway Christian Mallory. Um, James Joyce. No. Cedar Ridge. Jeffrey. Francis Bacon. No, I, if I had given you the clue, a modest proposal, I bet you would have gotten it. It is Jonathan Swift and Gulliver's Travels fame as well. Question 22 for both teams. The script for the 1976 Academy Award winner for Best Picture was written over three short days after its author was inspired by watching a Muhammad Ali boxing match. Nate? All right, Cedar Ridge, Wesley. Rocky. Rocky is absolutely right. And you have earned your team a bonus in second. Second. All of the answers are word or a phrase starting with the word second. Okay? Jeffrey, uh, you may confer, but when you're answering me, look at me and give me your answer, please. Previously owned. Second hand. Second, second, hand. Hand. second hand. Yes. A person who plays a subordinate role. Um, secondary. 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 No. Habits that are deeply ingrained. Second, second nature. nature. Second nature. Yes. Mm -hmm. And dotage. Pass. Uh, all right, the answer there was second nature, or pardon me, second childhood. And the answer that you missed on number two was a person who plays a sporting role is a second fiddle. Oh. Second fiddle. <laughs> all right, but two out of the four, correct, for a total of 20 points, and you've evened the game up at 80 to 80. All right, here is a toss-up question for both teams, and it happens to be math computation. So we've got 20 seconds on the clock for this question. The sum of two numbers is 120. Their difference is 14. Find the two numbers. All right, Jeffrey. 53 and 67. Jeffrey, you've earned your team a bonus. Good job. All right, this bonus is in world history. Various events, people, or terms related to world history. Here's the first question. Hammurabi, mm -hmm. Moses, and Manu all fulfilled what function in their respective cultures? Answer please. Prophet. No. Compensation demanded by victor nations of defeated nations for wrongs committed by the latter before or during hostilities is called what? Reparations. That's right. When the War of Austrian Succession broke out in 1740, what was the only major country siding with Austria? Hungary. 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 No. And the mob that stormed the Bastille was looking for what? Answer, please. Food. No, the answer there was weapons. And then the uh, Hammurabi, Moses, and Manu all fulfilled the role of lawgiver. And then the War of Austria succession, Austria was supported by Great Britain in that war. All right, uh, but 15 points for that uh, match, for that game. And so you've moved ahead 95 to 80, but let's have a toss up for both schools in this very close game. Which Latin word is used in college for an outline describing the contents? Wesley. Syllabus. Wesley, you got it before the end of the question. Good job, and you've earned your team a bonus in Plant Kingdom. Plant <coughs> Kingdom. Will, 
You may confer, but then give your answers to me regarding these questions about various types of organisms in the plant kingdom. Number one, what's the most common method for determining the age of a tree? The rings. More specifically. The rings in the trunk. I'm sorry? The rings in the trunk. More specifically. Counting the rings in the trunk. Counting the rings in the yes. trunk. Although rice is usually thought of as the staple grain throughout China, what grain is actually the staple of the Beijing area? Wheat. Wheat. Yes, they make their noodles from wheat. Good. Which climbing tropical shrub was named for a French South Sea explorer? I hear kudzu on the tape. Kudzu. No. And what term, literally meaning self-feeding, is used to describe organisms which have the ability to produce their own food? Homotrophic. No, the word is autotrophic. Autotrophic. And the other one was bougainvillea. Bougainvillea. Uh, but very good job. Uh, you got two right for a total of 20 points on that and moved five points ahead in this game. And we have one bonus question remaining. And let's see which team can get it with this toss-up question. Futura, Helvetica, and Times New Roman are 20th century styles. Wesley. Fonts. That's absolutely right. They're all fonts. And you have earned a bonus in the 100 greatest novels of the 20th century. You don't have to list all 100, however. <laughs> I'll ask you about these four. This list was devised by writers and scholars of the editorial board of the Modern Library. Name the book that made the list for each of these authors. Jack Kerouac. On the Road. On the Road. Yes. Sherwood Anderson. No answer? No answer. That is, oh, and Samuel Butler. Answer, please. And the fourth one is William Styron. Answer? Nothing. Those are tough, tough uh, questions. Sherwood Anderson is Winesburg, Ohio. Uh, Samuel Butler, The Way of All Flesh, and William Styron, Sophie's Choice. And uh, those 100 greatest novels go unread yet again, don't they? <laughs> All right, uh, that's the end of round two. And our score uh, here at the end of round two, if we have no challenges, is 115 for Conway Christian and Cedar Ridge 95. Congratulations, teams. Very good game. Um, if we don't have any challenges, I'm going to read the lightning round categories for, the three for these two teams. Here's the first one, and Cedar Ridge, you're going to pick first, so pay close attention. Answer these questions concerning well-known pieces of literature. So the category is literature. Mining is the second category. Give the following mining terms. And the third category for the two teams is geography, both U.S. and world which takes in quite a bit. Answers will begin with the letters A through J in order for that category. All right, you have 60 seconds to decide, coaches. <clears throat> well, Bill, we've got a close game. Yeah, this is a nail biter. <laughs> and, and for Newark, they might be in a good position right now because they're gonna get to choose between the three. And if there's one there that they know they can run or one they can come close to run, they could flip this match like we talked about before. There's something else about the 60-second round that we need to mention for those that are viewing, and that is any question that is passed or missed okay. in this 60-second goes to the opposing team. Now, how you play that is if you get into a 60-second round and you realize we're, we're not we're not where we want to be. Mm -hmm. You don't want to just keep passing because it's going to give the other team a chance. Okay. So sometimes what you will see a team do is stall. They'll just say forget it and they won't get any points but when they stall the other team doesn't get a chance at it. And We'll see that strategy sometime during the day. You probably won't see it on this match. Both of these teams are going to run those things. Okay. All right. We're ready to go back to the match. 
We are back to uh, the uh, 2A state championship here at the AET and Studios, and a very good match between these two teams. Conway Christian uh, a little bit ahead here at this point, and Cedar Ridge, because Cedar Ridge is uh, behind. They get to pick the first category, so a little bit uh, of luck for y'all. Do you pick literature or mining or geography? Geography. All right, so Cedar Ridge has chosen their category for the 62nd round, and it is geography. That leaves, Will, either mining or literature for Conway Christian. We'll take literature. All right. No one knows a lot about it. We need bauxite here, don't we, to do the mining category. All right. Conway Christian is going to take the literature category. Now, Will, y'all be ready over there in case Cedar Ridge gives up any of these answers to you. Here we go, Jeffrey. Are you ready? We have 60 seconds on the clock. And this says that answers will begin with the letters A through J in order. Okay? Body of water with many islands known as Grecian Archipelago. A GNC. Yes. Spain's most important manufacturing and trading city. Banyol. Barcelona. Barcelona. Yes. Capital that was the birthplace of Simone Boulevard. Cairo. No. Iowa City that's the second largest Des insurance city. Des Moines. Yes. Western Asian River rise, rises in mountains of Turkey and flows into the Persian Gulf. Euphrates. Yes. Group of small islands forming curved line from Biscayne Bay Falkland. southwest to the Gulf of Mexico. The Falkland Islands. No. Mountain range forming boundary of Tennessee and North Carolina. Great Smoky. Great Smoky. Mountains. Yes. City containing a memorial shrine in the Atomic Age Museum. Houston. No, another name for the 180th Meridian. International Dateline. Yes, city in the heart of Vitorantistan with, oh, did not get to read that whole question. Um, all right, so that one will not pass on. I have uh, judges that they got one, two, four, five, seven, and nine. All right, so we're going to pass those others over to you, Will. The category says geography, U.S. and world, and the answers begin A through J in that order. I'm going to give you question number three first. Capital that was the birthplace of Simone Boulevard. Columbia. No. The next question is number six. Group of small islands forming curved line from Biscayne Bay southwest to the Gulf of Mexico. Pharaohs. No. Uh, the city, this is number eight. Uh, city containing memorial shrine in the Atomic Age Museum. Hiroshima. Right. And we did not get to read number 10 to you, City in the Heart of Vitor uh, Watersand with the richest gold fields in the world, Johannesburg. But the one question both teams missed, or I guess there were two, weren't there? Number three, the capital that was the birthplace of Simone Boulevard, Caracas. Caracas. And the group of small islands forming the line from Biscayne Bay into the Gulf of Mexico, the Florida Keys. The Florida Keys. All right, now, uh, Cedar Ridge, you've had your category. Let's go now to Conway Christian. Will, your category is literature. Jeffrey, you be ready in case uh, they have any bounce bags for you. Will, we've got 60 seconds for you to answer these questions concerning well known pieces of literature. Ready? Title character of a poem by Edgar Allan Poe described as Ebony Bird. The Raven. Yes. Shakespeare character who says, My lips, two blushing pilgrims, ready stand. Romeo. Yes. What is it a sin to kill, according to Atticus Finch? A Mockingbird. Yes. In The Lord of the Rings, what kind of creature is Frodo? A Hobbit. Yes. Shakespearean play that was written to conclude the Christmas season. Pass. In Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, what was Jane's occupation? Uh, governess. 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 Yes, stories by Edgar Allan Poe that could have been titled The Pilfered Missive. Pass. Arachne bragged that she was better at this artistic endeavor than Athena, who Weaving. eventually turned her into a spider. Weaving. Yes. Longfellow's Evangeline was about the expulsion of Acadians from Nova Scotia in what century? Eighteenth. Uh, yes section of New York City where James Baldwin's novel Go Tell It on the Mountain takes place. And the buzzer just as we finish the question, so it will not pass over. That answer was Harlem, as you probably know. All right, uh, judges, I have that they got questions one, two, three, four, six, 
8 and 9. All right, so we're going to pass over question 5 to you, Jeffrey. A Shakespearean play that was written to conclude the Christmas season. Twelfth Night. Yes. 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 Nice. A uh, story by Edgar Allan Poe that could have been titled The Pilfered Missive. The Purloined Letter. Right. Yes. Good job on both of those. And that is the end of round number three with our score. Conway Christian, 195, and Cedar Ridge, 175. Very close match. Good job, teams. Now, we'll see if we have any substitutions that we'd like to make. Yes, we are going to make substitutions. So here we go with those substitutions. Well, we knew going into this game that it was going to be a very competitive game, and uh, sure enough, it has been. We are on our fourth and final round of our 2A state championship with just 20 points separating these two teams. Conway Christian, 195, Cedar Ridge, 175, and I believe, Austin, you're back in the game uh, for us. Good job. And we are very glad uh, to have our people watching today and uh, enjoying this great game. Here in just a moment, we'll determine the 2A state championship, and it's going to be an exciting finish. You're taking years off your coach's life today, teams. <laughs> All right, here we go with our first toss-up in this final round. What language replaced Latin as the official tongue of the Eastern Roman Empire? <coughs> Jeffrey. German. No. <coughs> Wesley. Greek. Greek is the right answer. Question 32. He was on an African hunting trip when his enemy, J.P. Morgan, quipped, let every lion do his duty. Name this former president of the United States, Will. Teddy Roosevelt. Absolutely right. Question number 33. What well-known current movie actor, director, and producer started his movie career making Western movies for Italian director Sergio Leone, then broke into the Hollywood scene with the Western Hang 'em High? Wesley. Clint Eastwood. You're right. Question number 34. What book in 1984 topped the New York Times bestseller list, selling better than when it was originally written in 1949? Its author is George Orwell. Will. 1984. 1984 is the correct answer. Give the Roman numeral for 586. Mallory. D L one D L I. No. Jeffrey. D L X X X V I. You're right, Jeffrey. Question number thirty-six happens to be math computation. So we'll put twenty seconds on the clock and test your math skills with this question. When tossing a coin, what is the probability of getting four heads and then a tail in five tosses? Answers, please. Will. 3.475%. No. Jeffrey. 1 in 32. Jeffrey, I don't know if you're guessing or you know, but that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the probability of that is. Okay. Question number 37. Its atmosphere is largely hydrogen and helium. It is believed that it would have become a companion star. Jeffrey. Jupiter. Jupiter is correct. Question number 38. In what year did the Russian monarchy collapse? Wesley. 1917. You're right. Question number 39. Britain's kings and queens are forbidden by law from becoming uh, Wesley. Catholic. Roman Catholic is the answer. Good job. 
Question number 40. What three-word term indicates the realistic, often satirical comedy developed in the Restoration period that portrays the conventions of an artificial, sophisticated society? That is a comedy of manners, comedy of manners. Question number 41 is science computation. And that science computation questions also get 20 seconds on the clock. So here we go. Consider three resistors with resistances of 12, 15, and 20 ohms. Figure out the total resistance when, Jeffrey? 47 ohms. No, when they are connected in parallel. Will? 16 ohms. You were closer. It is 5 ohms. 5 ohms. Question 42. William Wallace is a semi-legendary national hero of what? Wesley. Scotland. Um, no. Of Jeffrey. Great Britain. No, I would have finished with of what European people, so I had to have Scots or Scottish instead of Scotland. All right, question number 43. What word would an Englishman substitute for can in the phrase, a can of beans? Will. Tin. You're absolutely right, Will. Quest, uh, timeout has been called by Cedar Ridge, so we'll have a 30-second timeout for both teams. All right, we're back after the timeout called by Cedar Ridge. And uh, coaches are allowed uh, one timeout during the course of a game, and uh, they've elected to use theirs. But we're back now to finish the game between the two teams. Um, and we were on question 44 when the timeout was called. So good luck, teams, as we have a race to the finish here for our 2A state championship. What term denotes cheesecloth that has been soaked with varnish to create a slightly sticky surface? Jeffrey. Tape. No. Uh, Wesley. Tissue paper. No, it's called tack cloth. Tack cloth. Math computation for the next question. We'll put 20 seconds on the clock for you to answer this question. Simplify 8 to the 5 thirds power. Answers, please. Anyone? Wesley. 4,096. No. Conway Christian. Will. 4,097. Well, I have 32. <laughs> <laughs> so one of us is off by quite a few. All right, question number 46. In poetry or prose, the use of figurative language and descriptions to convey a sensory experience is indicated by what seven-letter word? Jeffrey. Imagery. You're right. Question number 47. Name the Latin chain dance introduced in the 1930s that goes one, two, three, kick. One. Jeffrey. Conga line. Thank you for interrupting me so I didn't have to do that again. That's right. Question number 48. The Aborigines found an inventive way to make their favorite musical instrument, a wind instrument called the didgeridoo. They bury a long eucalyptus branch in the ground, and when they dig it up, it is hollowed out. Jeffrey. Termites. You're absolutely yes. right, Jeffrey. That's how it's done. Question 49. There are seven forms in mathematics that are deemed indeterminate. Name any one of them. Jeffrey. 
One divided by zero. Uh, judges, no. Okay. Conway Christian. <laughs> Will. Zero divided by one. No. I have zero over zero, infinity over infinity, zero times infinity, zero to the infinity, zero to the zero, infinity to the zero, or infinity minus infinity. Those are the answers. Question 50 for both teams. In ancient times, it was known as the Great Gate of Italy. Even today, it continues to be the busiest of its kind. Name this mountain pass on the Austrian-Italian border the best way to cross over the Alps. All right, Jeffrey. The Po River. No. Conway Christian? <laughs> Wesley. The Khyber Pass. No, I think you'll remember it. It's the Brenner Pass. And that was the last question of the game in our 2A state championship. We'll see if we have any <laughs> challenges. There are no challenges, and so our score at the end of the game is Conway Christian 265, Cedar Ridge 235, a great game. Conway Christian is our 2A state champion. <laughs> wow, that was a great game, Bill. It sure was. What was the key it to sure the was. win? Well, the questions just flowed, and the ones that got them got them right. But <laughs> here's the thing that you need to remember here. Cedar Ridge was defending state champions. Conway Christian, this is their first time to be here. Now, with that said, when I talked to the coach from Conway Christian, they have had a very active junior high team and have been very successful over several years. So it, it told you they were going to be strong when they got here. And both these teams are very well coached. Very, very well, coached. well coached. That when, when Cedar Ridge called the timeout, that's a wonderful strategy. She called it to settle her team down, and if you notice, they came back just a little bit. It was just not enough questions left for them to pull it off. Yeah, the math computations, amazing. How are they able, I think uh, one of them answered in like five seconds. Oh, <laughs> it, there were several here. Wesley out on the end at Cedar Ridge answered one of the uh, math questions in less than two seconds. I don't know how he did it, but he did it. <laughs> Uh, math a lot of times if you just know the trick if you just know it's I say a trick <laughs> if you know what you're really looking for it's not that difficult I know it it amazes a lot of other people but they're very good very okay. well trained all right well let's go back to the set for the awarding of the trophy and the check congratulations to two great teams that have played all the way up to ATN the defending state champion showed up Cedar Ridge it was a tight fight, but you ended up with second on behalf of Arkansas Governor's Quiz, but we have some presentations for you. Congratulations to our 2A state runner-up, Cedar Ridge. A great champion, and for academic excellence, $1,600 to Cedar Ridge. Good job. Thank you. Our 2A state champions, Conway Christian. Very strong lightning round in a well played game, Conway Christian. You're the state champions this year. Congratulations. Here's a check for $3,200. Good job. Our 2A MVP is Jeffrey Stewart from Cedar Ridge. Congratulations. He will receive a check for $250. And now for the 2A All-Tournament team members, Carolyn Shry. Yes, indeed. In, in addition to Jeffrey, who made for a wonderful MVP with an average of 14.86 per game, <clears throat> we even have someone higher than that who was not in the final two games. The high point player actually for this entire tournament of 2A was Malia Chester from Gurdon. She had an average of 15.71 points per game. <clears throat> the other members of the all-tournament team are Wesley Oliver, who also had a really good score of about 12 points per game. Samuel Harper, uh, and he's Conway Christian, of course. Samuel Harper from Hazen. 
Manon Gross from Eureka Springs, Chad Cuppers from Union Christian, Cameron Ross of Cotter, Abby Gavin of Woodlawn, Dakota Booth of Riverside, Angelos Lambus of Parker's Chapel, Jonah LaGrange of Bigelow, Mason Ferguson from Woodlawn, Will Henley, who's sitting right over here also from Conway Christian, uh, Joe Gatliff of Murfreesboro, Brazen Jones from Magazine, Pat Richardson from Quitman, and Dalton Jackson from McCrory, a great bunch of 2A All-Stars.